Did I mention industry? Have I talked about industry before? I, I think I have talked about industry, but in case I haven't, let me repeat it again. Please watch the industry or industry only itself. It's a it's a drama TV series uh, based on these graduates who enter the financial world for the first time, and it sort of follows their individual journeys, right? Um, you know, various different individuals from different sort of backgrounds, colors and creeds, um, countries and all that malarkey. And it kind of um, displays and shows you exact, well, I won't say exactly, but it shows you the kind of different struggles each has in terms of acclimatizing themselves with this fast paced environment. And it is bloody stellar. I incorrectly said Leonard Dunham like, basically created this, but she didn't. She directed the first episode. But apart from that, it's really well done. And I, I don't know how they managed to somehow make a drama that's based in london and made by i guess well it's it's on hbo in the us um but it's shown here on the bbc but somehow it has a very london feel to it without looking like um line of duty or the bill or spooks you know not 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 to say those series are bad because i watch all of them but it doesn't have that sort of like slapstick quality of british tv series that it sometimes has that kind of sheen it sort of looks american-y without looking too american-y it doesn't look like criminal mind it doesn't look like suits but it just looks really good it's a very very well put together tv series um only three episodes in it's the kind of thing that i'm legitimately looking forward to watching week in week out whenever it's available on streaming services which is making it again i think there is something to be said for series dropping every week on the streaming platform as opposed to just be able to binge watch them on netflix i know i remember in the past i think it might have been with um what was it with it might have been with ozarks or something i don't know what it was there was some series that came out on netflix recently that i was a little bit annoyed that they sort of like switched up and started doing them weekly um maybe it was game of thrones i don't know it might it can't have been game of thrones but regardless there is something to be said for a decent tv again it has to be good first if the tv series is good it probably is within the best interest of the production company or whoever's putting it together to make sure that they they don't leave it to end if they do release it on a streaming service that it's only available uh weekly right you drop the episodes per week that's the best way to do it of course don't do that annoying thing that some series do where they kind of they would um sell only six episodes if it's successful then they top it up again but then in between that time you have to wait four months and episode to drop no if it's good and you've ordered you know you've made a, a full first season sell it to places shop it around if someone picks it up make sure that they only drop the episodes once per week and if it's halfway decent it's definitely going to build up a following you saw it happening with the boys right, on amazon the boys is a good example a lot of the hype around the boys of course is a great tv series right a, an amazing spin on the superhero genre but again, the anticipation of having that next episode drop, especially the way those ep episodes were done, they always kind of ended in a really interesting cliffhanger. Um, it was kind of within their best interest to be like, hey, let's just drop these per week. Let's not be, able, let's not give them just out. Let's not just you know, front load them for people to watch on you know, one weekend. There's no sense of kind of appreciation. You don't end up building a connection with the characters. And it, it, there's just something about it. I don't know what, it just works, you know, being able to kind of catch something every week, looking forward to it, remembering pizza's as part of the story, um, following you you kind of pay attention more to the character arcs it's just a, a far better experience of um, watching a tv series i guess in my experience same way i would equate it to like the difference between like um a physical book well, this is a bad uh, uh, example this is a running book but the, regardless i've definitely retained a lot more information reading a physical book than i do listen to audiobooks which i listen to a lot of and that's because usually you're having to sort of visualize whatever you're reading as you're reading it right or sometimes it's the images that you kind of remember but with the audiobook it's sort of passive listening and i think streaming services when they just give you the entire season you're sort of passively watching them especially in my experience i tend to sometimes skip past some bits especially if it's like mindless dialogue i don't need to be you know listening to or it's like a love scene i'll just skip past it just because i want to get to the main action bits of the actual series which is obviously you know not the way to watch things but that's i'm assuming a lot of people do that too so you tend to avoid that when you're dropping them once per week. So if you're going to sit down and actually watch it, I think you'll see that the same thing happened with Euphoria. A lot of that is kind of like, you know, the gap, the time that it gives you to kind of breathe in between stuff to kind of see it. Like you need that. You would definitely, definitely, definitely need it. So definitely check that out again. Really, really good um, series. Um, there's a lot of um, 
highbrow financial jargon thrown in there that's sort of hard to keep abreast of but generally just as like an overall show it is bloody amazing honestly it's one of one of my favorite shows i've been able to watch recently um and again maybe a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's not a lot on tv at the moment so it's kind of hard to kind of you know um make something bad because everyone's going to give you a chance but for sure man it's definitely a very enjoyable series just alone just a little touches of styling details like you know the abundance of body warmers of people that are wearing in there um the sort of bombastic sort of like silly attitudes of some of the financial guys the excessive 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 portrayal of, of drugs in this series is very accurate as well especially if you've been around the liverpool area bank area you know a lot you've kind of seen a lot of these familiar sort of faces and characters are hanging around these places so definitely you will see a lot of yourself if you work in the industry and people that you might know if you've definitely been around or in or you know people that are around in that industry as well so definitely check that out man industry available on hbo and bbc now that's what i've been checking out